If you really want to stand out in a busy marketplace, it's not about kit, it's not about accessories, it's about service. Be the type of lender that you want to borrow from. Weedio has helped me on my journey because they take care of vetting and the coverage so I can focus on lending to my lenders quality, well-maintained equipment. Over and above that, they've allowed me to acquire equipment that has not only added value to my photography business, but increased my rental stock, allowing me to achieve growth in both areas. My last rental is actually still ongoing. I was contacted yesterday by a local creative who wanted to book some equipment for a photo shoot for his children in the park. It's a bank holiday in the UK. All of your conventional rental houses are closed, yet despite that, he was able to book and collect equipment from me inside of an hour. And that's the magic of peer to peer. If I could give three things I wish I'd known in the beginning, the number one would be, if you build it, they will come. If you put together a collection of equipment, maintain it well, and offer a good level of service, you can build a rental business. It won't happen overnight, but you will get business. In London, the level of demand greatly exceeds the level of supply. There are more creatives than there is kit. Number two, Creators come in different shapes and sizes. You cannot judge a book by its cover. I have met people who kind of looked questionable and they are incredible. So first impressions can be deceiving. And number three is that if you give an inch, they will take a mile. Stick to your guns. The rules are there for a reason. In terms of pricing, it is really, really important to do your research. Competitive pricing is going to set you apart from your competitors, but the term competitive is rather subjective. If you look at what local rental houses are charging, they charge significantly more. You may have local lenders that are charging less. If there are lots of a particular camera in area, that's going to drive the price down. But if you have a desirable camera and there are fewer of them, you can charge a premium. So it really, really matters to do the research. So pictures are a really, really important part of your listing. They allow your potential borrowers to visualise what is contained within your offering. There are some lenders that create absolutely amazing collections of product images which they use in their listings, which really draws in potential borrowers. But if you don't have the skill or resources to do that, you can just as easily add stock images. But it's really important to have good quality images to accompany your listing. When it comes to descriptions, the devil is in the detail. This is your space to sell your item. It lets people know what is included, but you can also give them information about any conditions you have attached to borrowing from you, your location and your hours of operation. The more information that you place within this space, the less time that you will spend answering questions. In terms of promotion, this is one of the benefits of peer-to-peer. Peer-to-peer -peer platforms advertise because traffic for them is traffic for you. A victory for them is a victory for you. Your success is intrinsically linked to their own. But outside of the promotion done by platforms, there are things that you can do yourself. If you're a student, for example, let other people in your class know that you are a lender. If you are a part of a local community or a group, reach out to those people. You can use Facebook. There are so many creative ways that you could do it. It is limited only by your imagination. Ahead of any handover, there are some important things that you can do to safeguard both yourself and your equipment. It's really, really important that you take clear date time-stamped photographs of your equipment because that is your evidence, your record of the condition of the kit, any marks, and that it is all working. And it also means that in the event of a dispute, you have solid evidence to state, no, this is the condition of the kit, these were the things that are included, and you have photos to back it up. When your equipment is returned, it is really, really important that at the first opportunity, you check the kit to ensure that it is in full working order and is in the same condition that you lent it out. Best practice would be to do this in front of your borrower. Once you're happy and you're satisfied, you mark your equipment as returned and your rental is concluded. It is of paramount importance that you do not cut corners. Always take your timestamp photos ahead of your rental because it is your evidence in the event of theft or damage. And never, ever, ever feel pressurized into taking a rental. If something seems off, don't accept it. And if you've already accepted it, cancel, but communicate the reasons to the borrower why you are canceling. 
I recommend Wedio to others because they offer a more compelling value proposition than other platforms without compromising on security. It's a really, really big deal. And over and above that, they offer coverage for borrowers as well as lenders, and no other platform that I'm aware of does that.